Buffer is a great tool that not only automates a lot of your Twitter activity, but it does that smartly and effectively. The tool is easy to set up and work with and is possibly the best Twitter tool out there. Using Buffer, you can schedule tweets at any time of the day and also keep a track on their performance. Buffer also has an extension that helps you buffer specific pages that you are browsing with just one click. In this video, we will take you through everything you need to know about Buffer and how you can use it for your benefit. To begin with, you will need to create an account with Buffer. Go to BufferApp.com and create your account using Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn account. Or you can sign in with your email ID. Once you are registered and logged in, you can see the clean and clutter free dashboard. The right side bar will show you the social media accounts that are linked to your Buffer account. You can authorize and link your Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, App.net or Google Plus accounts to your Buffer account. For Facebook, you can link both your personal profile and Facebook page. And for LinkedIn, you can link your profile, your company page or a group that you manage. But for Google Plus, you can only connect your page. Now you will need to create posting schedules for the profiles connected to Buffer app. Choose the account from the right sidebar whose schedule you want to set up and start allotting time slots for each update. If you are using the free version, you will only have 10 updates per account, while paid users can buffer unlimited number of updates. Once the schedule is set up, you can start buffering updates. You can either buffer updates from within the dashboard or directly from the pages you are browsing using the buffer app extension. You can find the extension on Chrome or as a Firefox add-on. If you want to buffer a specific line in a page, simply select it and right click. You will find the option to buffer the article using that line. All the pages that you have buffered will be collated chronologically in the dashboard. If you want, you can shuffle them randomly as well. Now in order to track the clicks your tweets are getting, you will have to set up link shortening as well. You can either use Buffer's Buffly Shortener or your own Bitly account. Setting this up will help you understand how your tweets are performing with respect to click-throughs. The analytics dashboard will have all the details about the performance of the tweets that have already been shared by Buffer. It tells you how many retweets, favorites, mentions and clicks your tweets have received. You will also get to know the potential reach of those tweets. As you can see, Buffer is a really powerful tool if you want to automate your tweets and share resourceful content at specific timings. Of course, it goes without saying that you must avoid being bot-like on Twitter. So make sure you mix up your Buffer tweets with real conversations. Thank you so much for viewing this video. We hope this video has helped you understand Buffer. For more such insightful videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.